My name is John Murillo. I'm a poet. And I was at McDowell November into December of 2016. Being around other serious artists, right, was fuel for me, right? It was inspiring. So it was a good time. That's something also very important about that dinner time. You get a chance to um, commiserate, yeah. And, um, you know, some days the work was going well, some days it wasn't. And it was an opportunity sometimes to talk each other um, off ledges, right? Um, and sometimes you can talk through your own, your own struggles and end up solving your own problems. There's this mythological structure. It's way, way, way out in the woods. So you have to actually journey to go. The Oracle, that's what they call it. It was um, an old outhouse that wasn't in use. The idea is that you'd go there with your questions, you just reach in, pull out the answer, and that would be the answer to whatever you're going through. You'd write down, I don't know, there's nothing in fear but fear itself. Throw it in there, right? And then five years from now, someone goes there struggling with something they're going through, and the answer to their problems would be, there's nothing to fear but fear itself. Not long after my uh, visit to McDowell, actually, um, I went back to Los Angeles to help bury my grandmother. Drove out to visit one of my old neighborhoods, and the building wasn't there. It made me think about home, fluidity, permanence, impermanence, and this poem came out of that. The poem is called Mercy, Mercy Me, and if you know Mercy, Mercy Me, you know the next line is Things Ain't What They Used To Be. It's a song by Marvin Gaye. Mercy, mercy me. Crips, bloods, and butterflies. A sunflower somehow planted in the alley, its broken neck. Maybe memory is all the home you get and rage where you first learn how fragile the axis upon which everything tilts. But to say you've come to terms with a city that's never loved you might be overstating things a bit. All you know is there was once a walk up where now sits a lot vacant and rats in deep grass hide themselves from the day. That one apartment fire set back in 76, one the streets called arson to collect a claim, could not do ultimately what the city itself did left to its own dank devices some 16 years later. Rebellions said some, riots said the rest. In any case, flames and the home you knew, ash. It's not an actual memory, but you remember it still. A rust-bottomed Datsun handed down, then stolen, stripped, recovered, and built back from bolts, driving away in May 1992. What's left of that life quivers in the rear view, the world on fire, and half your head with it. <laughs>